All right, Banggood sent me a couple battery chargers to uh, try out and do a review on. I've went through the ropes on both of them. Both these chargers are actually quite impressive. One of them here is a cheaper model. I mean, I do believe, say, around $10 or so on Banggood. And this one's a little bit more expensive. You got 18 650s and, well, any battery for that matter with this one, uh, you'll be quite impressed. This is pretty much a do-all. I really like this. And what we're going to do real quick is I think I'm going to go through this Little Kayla battery charger first, and then we'll hit this one. Now, there's not a tremendous amount to this little one here. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. We'll put a battery in it and just show you what its features are. Works good for, say, a single flashlight. As you can see there, I got it plugged in. It takes just a typical micro USB plug. Let's say we throw a Panasonic in there. I don't know if this is charged or not. If you look there, the lithium ions flashing, it's at 4.20 volts. My guess is pretty much charged. Now it ha does have a you, you long press this button on it, shows it uh, one amp charging, and there it's full. Flip back and forth. Tell you what, let's stick a smaller battery in. This is a 16340. And that one's at 3.79 volts. And I'm charging at a half an amp. If you long press it, you can go from a half amp to one amp. And right now, it's at 4.17 volts. Pretty awesome. Simple charger. Let's try one of these generic cheap 18650s. 4.8, and it's flashed to lithium ion at 3.8 volts. This one, these cheap batteries have more voltage, but the runtime, as I'll show you or talk to you about on them, is just phenomenally shorter than a decent battery. I just switched over one amp. Like I said, very basic, price wise, very cheap, but this really does get the job done. I really like this for portability and that on it. Check that link out down below on this one. Basically comes with a USB to micro USB charging port. Now for the big guy. This year, it's an intelligent charger. I could go through all the specs and talk about them, but I'd rather do being as this is a video. You don't have to go through that. I'll, I'll uh, plug the thing in and just show you what all I know on this, this charger. I really like this. This might become my main charger. Now, on the back side of it here, if you look, you got a regular input, and then you have a USB out, and yes, you put four batteries in there, you can use this as a power bank. It's pretty awesome. It does come supplied with a power supply that you get with it, and of course your 110 extension, and a lot of cable, which is awesome. You know what, I'm going to have to turn my uh, ISO down. Well, there we go. Now, without no batteries in, you're looking at it saying no. We're going to go ahead and throw in, like I said, the cheap 18650, say a uh, good Panasonic, and that little one. Then we're all 3.7 volts. And then we're going to put in a AA Energizer rechargeable battery. And if you look there, now one thing I did on this top part here, if you drain the batteries all the way down, it will show you how many milliamps you put into the battery uh, once it's fully charged. Well, it'll progress as time goes, but it'll be up there flashing, which was pretty awesome. And that's how I found out the Panasonic right here outdid every battery that I have, including uh, Samsung and, and other ones. A lot, actually every battery from a lot of different manufacturers. And that cheap generic one here that you can pick up a dime a dozen that only maxed out at 980 milliamps the Panasonic ended up putting 3800 milliamps into it a huge difference and I did notice the, the generic one you get more voltage but it's pretty awesome for being able to tell how good a battery is that you got if you look at this little AA I mean it auto regulates to what kind of batteries they are and the AA want the nickel metal hydrate and all the other ones are lithium ion. Now like your your two end ports, you could take this and if you change it, if you look there, I'm down to one amp. Now I'm at two amps. All the middle ones, you can change them from a half to one. But the two outside ones, you can do a two amp quick charge. And one other cool thing on it, it shows you how long you were, it took to charge these batteries, and then you got your resistance. 
you look right here, I don't know why that little one has so much more resistance. Might be because it's about ready to go out, I don't know. Don't seem to last long. And if you look at the AA, 1.38 volts, down pretty good. And the two 18650s are pretty much the same. Let's we'll see what happens if we throw another battery in. I got a Solfrin 18650 here. This is the only other battery that held close to the Panasonic's. Put that in. I was running this battery last night for a flashlight test. It was charged when I initially started. That's weird. That's at 26 MQ. I'm going to switch these up, see what happens. I do believe the lower, the lower the resistance, the better off you are. That would explain this battery's uh, doing quite well. But it's pretty awesome. Like I said, running these up, you can run the, the outside one up to 2 amps, and these you can run up to 1 amp. This one here, this thing will get charged right away. Like I said, only up to 900 mil, a little over 900, maybe 1,000 up to 3800 on that and the sulfurin actually went up to about 36 but if you need a charger that you can tell how your battery's doing or if you got a good set of batteries or if one's going out or not this is it and the other great feature on it that i really like but unplug it like i said turn it into a power bank which we're going to do right now just to show you plug in a usb out I'm going to take a little fan here, portable fan, and I've tested this out with my flashlights, or my batteries. Actually, I've done this numerous times now. This thing will run a couple days with quite a bit of wind coming out, but it'll run these right down to minimum voltage. And if you look there, it's going to show you where each one's at. And once they run down, they'll start flashing and then they're off. So in a nutshell, a little bit more expensive charger. But it is a dual. If you notice there, the LED drop down after a couple minutes. Turn that back up, it'll go up. But it will do all double A's all the way up through. You know, I've never tried 18 or 26 6 500s, but we're gonna. Let's take out uh, Panasonic down to 55. Yeah, the lower the resistance, the better the battery is. This Sulfurin's doing dang good. Sulfurin puts out some. Pretty awesome uh, batteries with your flashlights, by the way. Here's a Lumatop 5000 milliamp 266500. All right, it worked. We're looking at more resistance, of course, but man, this battery is lower than what I thought it was. Did a review on that flashlight as well. But we're at 3.93 volts and Pretty cool this resistance on here uh, gives you a good idea on your batteries. And the other one, what I like, is an actual power bank. You put four good 18650s in there, you got some serious run time to charge phones and everything else on this thing. I would uh, say this is a pretty good addition for if you're running flashlights and stuff like that. With uh, gives you a, a wealth of information. It'd be nice if it had a dedicated discharge mode, but hooking it up to the a uh, USB and running them dead works good in itself to run them down. So I said go ahead and uh, check that link out down below for each one of these from Banggood. Pretty awesome. The Deska, if I pronounced that right, SQ4 Plus, and the little Kayla LII S1. There you go. Till the next time.